Hey guys, welcome to my tutorial on um, palette editing specifically this time. <clears throat> so, for editing a palette, and you know what, let's not do palette on everybody starts there. Let's go over a million, because we're just editing palette, so it doesn't matter what I show. Um, so, you're going to go ahead and press the purple puzzle piece, it says block editor if you hover over it. I'm so going to zoom in on that. And up here there's going to be picture blocks palette. Go to palette. And under here, you're going to want to go into Show Palette Editor. And you're going to come here. Now, each palette has different colors. You can, they're, they're down here. So you can see Palette 0, for instance, is the color of all the greenery. And even reds for the flowers. Um, yeah. Uh, palette 1 is all the kind of rocks for um, the cliffs and whatnot. Um, you know, around uh, lakes and stuff, all the cliff type things. You have this one also has a normal ground color for the edge of water right here, up here. So that kind of thing. Um, so let's say we want to change the ground color. So the ground color is in palette zero. We know that it's. Palette zero has all the greens. This is gonna be the main ground color. Obviously, in you'll see in a sec, but obviously not everything of that is gonna change. You have to go into each of the palettes and change that value. So let's say we want the ground color. Well, we don't know which one of these is the ground color. Look at all these greens. We we can kind of take a guess. Like maybe it's you know this one or this one. But really, you want to gonna press select color and just come over here or something. Sorry, and kind of find it. Um, you can see right there, I found it. It's 112, 260. Usually I'd write down this value, but I kind of memorized this. It's this one. So let's say we want this to be a different green. Let's say we want this to have more of a tinge to it, like, you know, more of a dull color. So we do something like this. So now we're going to apply that. Now you can see it hasn't changed over here. Because we have, although we have, um, and you can see it up here how it is, kind of giving itself a preview, and I really don't like that green anymore. I'm just going to kind of dull it out a bit there. So now we can see that that's going to be what it's like. But it doesn't show up here. For it to actually stay, we have to go palette and we have to go right palette changes to ROM. And right there, you'll see everything has changed to this ground color here. Now you can see some other colors have stayed the same, obviously. For example, the edges of paths here. You can see they should be this color are the same. This one worked because this one's under that color. So the edges of paths there too and there and that sort of thing. You can see if, uh, if I go maybe not there, if I go Cerulean maybe, you will see that maybe not there. You know what, screw this, we'll make our own we'll make our own little crap. We'll make our own little river thingy. Shit. Yeah. Right about whatever so we'll do it like this so if I go like this and stuff this is getting annoying because I have to build paths myself and oh my god okay shit there okay so you can see here at the edge here it's the it hasn't changed in, in the edge of paths so that's because although we have changed that um, to the value of 136, and I'm going to write this down right now on a piece of paper so I know it. 136, 168, 120. So now I'm going to go through the palettes and find the original color, which was, well, I know when I see it. Um, right here, 112, 200, 160, and we're going to change the value to 136, 168, and 120. Apply. Um, go down to palette 2, nothing there, nothing in palette 3 or 4. On 5, you're going to have it right here, 136, 168, and 120. Um, palette 6 should be fine, 7, yeah, the rest should be pretty much fine. So then we're going to go right palette changes to ROM. And already you can see here that the corners are better. Up here you can see it, it's gone, and we basically changed everything from there and all that. Now this obviously doesn't look too nice and I wouldn't obviously suggest making it this color. Um, 
because you know it's a pretty ugly looking color but maybe you like it I, I personally don't like it but maybe it'll look better if we change some of these other colors more darker shades um, what if we did this and this some of this I don't know I'm just kinda throwing colors on here yeah apply right palette changes to ROM Let's see what this looks like mm, that ground doesn't look as bad as it could mm, what's this up here got a little green left up there I'm gonna find out what palette that's at just gonna go down to the block editor find what tile that is it's right here hmm oh the blue also has a little bit of that color right here one three six one six eight and one twenty apply palette right palette changes from there we go so now it's completely done uh... you see i even changed the color of this little path thingy in here so that's basically how you do this that's how you change the palette of that um... you can change the palette of anything i could make the pokemon center orange if i wanted to go down to here and i'm going to change this i'm going to add more green to all of these colors and you will see there palette right palette changes to rum and you'll see the top of the pokemon center pokemon center here is orange so that's all it takes to um change the palette it's not that hard um for things like changing the grass animation because the grass animation here even though that grass looks different it will just change right back the animation will play as if it wasn't changed at all hard to explain um one sec anyway so i hope that answers any questions you guys might have um, I don't know, let's just change some palettes for fun let's go ahead and make i don't know uh... the pokemon center uh... really dark really dark or the pokemon almost a purpley color you can see how easy it is you just change it palette right palette changes to rom and already everything that was blue so you see the doors have gone the windows have gone um, this is its own separate blue on its own separate palette but for example this type of water here um, is just used off a of plain blue square so that's all purple um, this simple house right here this is all purple um, because these were, these were all under that palette um, so you really have to check what's made and learn what's made up of each palette before you just go changing everything. Um, for example, these this orange color here, this comes up palette eight, which is depending on the tile set. So let's say I go to palette town, and you can see it has changed in favor of what's going on. And I go show palette editor, and I go down to palette eight. You can see that it's obvious. Oh, excuse me, obviously made up with some different colors because certain things are um, dependent on the tile set. Um, for and more things that are the same palette, the cliffs and the wooden fences, same palette, all those kind of things. So you really have to find out what goes under each before you go changing things. Like if you want your Poke Mart, Pokemon Mart to be uh, orange, you have to realize you're changing the water, the house, the windows, all this stuff orange, or in my case, purple. Um, so yeah, it just takes some trial and error, some learning. I hope you guys have fun with this. Get some blank ROMs and. Um, try this out. It's always fun to just experiment with some plat palettes, make some crazy colors like I have here. Um, so I encourage everyone to try this out. Um, learn a bit more. I'm actually going to change this palette right before I leave. Yeah, once again, palette 11 is specific at this time to whatever this is. Right here, 136. One six eight and one twenty. Apply. Uh, straight palette changes to ROM. There we go. So play around with it, guys. Um, learn from it. Change the colors. Have fun. Um, people say changing tiles. If you want to make your own game, you can always you know change the tiles and stuff to make your own. But all you really need to do is change your palette, and it kind of becomes more your own thing. 
Um, you don't even have to go as far as inserting all these tiles for people to be like, oh, you didn't put too much effort into it. Although, you know, obviously the more you do, the better your hack will be. Um, map connections, I really want to quickly go over them. You just, you just got to type in the map bank and map number, which is over here, Vermilion Cities 3-5, that sort of thing. And you just do that. And the offset, you just got to play around with that. Just type in random numbers and then go into the game and check and uh, guess how many squares it's off. Um, maybe I'll make one really specific to that, but for now, this is mainly on palette editing, so, hope you guys learned something, uh, hope this helped, see you guys next time.